Hi guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video I'll be going through the AFL rookies and who was actually selected to play in the uh, round one and we'll go through who wasn't selected as there was quite a few outs and I guess I'll go sort of also into the like uh, mid prices as well as we had some named out or some that had like increased roles that I think now are somewhat can be in some teams so before we get into it remember to like and subscribe and there'll be more content coming out especially with round one um having started and we'll see how teams sort of develop as we have the rolling lockout so if we go on to here um you'll see here i've got um uh, the most selected uh 200 to 290k um players so mostly rookies and you'll see that my team's uh, changed quite a lot since uh, that update video, especially after teams were initially dropped at 6pm. If I look here on my, I have a photo of it. So my team went, uh, my utility changed from Roberts to Ewerland as he's going to play. Um, I went with Samson Ryan as basically uh, Mick Andrew m most likely won't play, but in case he does, because he's named as an emergency, then I also have the, um, then it won't, I wouldn't accidentally stuff up my captaincy. So I decided to go with Samson Ryan as he's most likely to play sometime during the season. And then Philip, who's still here, and Ollie Hollands had to go on field because Phillips was out. And then these two boys uh, didn't change, and Cowan didn't change, and my whole back line at least hasn't changed. It did change initially, but it didn't hasn't changed now. Um, and then, yeah, so that's all the real guys that have changed, and McLean for Tom Powell in the end. And I had to sacrifice, I guess. Brayshaw was sacrificed now to down to Lockie Whitfield so I could get Setterfield in and Tom Powell in. So now if I go through the these guys and why um, why that changes a lot. So McAndrew, that as I spoke about, um, he sort of one second, there we go. He sort of just we knew that this was probably going to be the case. I wanted to for him to be actually just a straight out as that would have been better and at least would have given me a a vice captain loophole but it doesn't really matter in um, week one as much as 110 from Doherty I probably wouldn't have taken anyway so I'm going to trust on Dunks to go big at, um, against Melbourne and I could put it on someone else here but I don't really trust any of these guys as they're not the big big players and um, I think if I just put it, put them on Dunks and um, Doherty for the first couple of weeks and really just use them I can get um, I can have more of the lower keeper players as I've gone from my team being like this to from my team having I think it was at one point like 11 keepers to I now have potentially up to like 14 or so so um that was the reason McAndrew wasn't selected for me um and I hope well I hope for you guys that you pro probably can get a loophole with him but I think Samson Ryan will also become a good pick as in case Nan Curvis goes down. He's the only Ruckman. Pedler, um, probably a good pick as well, but I think Davy outscores him, so that's why I went with Davy. Um, and I don't have enough cash to get him in over Fergus Green. I'm looking at Sturt um, to th see if that's a better option, but we'll see. Ned Long's also, Noah Long's also another option over Uland as well. But I just wanted to have another, um, I guess, flexibility a little bit more in the back line. This back line, I think, will be the one that changes around quite dramatically for me. Um, with with um, Constable potentially coming out soon, Lockie Cowan coming out soon, and I really need to get um, just have more guys available, I think, there. So that's why I didn't go for Noah Long, I don't think, at the moment. But that could change... Um, if we know when we know uh, Johnson's availability. Will Phillips being out was a huge blow as that was going to be my um, M8, but I've responded with that and now knowing that Tom Powell, we have like more information and he did score 75 or something or 80 with 75% time of ground in the practice game playing from the forward line. I think he averages something like 
75 probably even if with that forward role and Phillips in the team so with Phillips not in the team and him named in the center I think he could average 80 85 and really push up quite early um getting some good scores especially playing the West Coast Eagles he could he could honestly ton up or something get close to that and that will help me get up to um any of the forwards let me just check who are the big player forwards so getting even just um if I go to 800k here Cogs more um even in the 700k range you have well Cameron's probably not a good split Heaney um Butters and stuff and getting up to those guys will be a lot better than having I think Powell in the team obviously but if we go back to that so that was a big, big blow, and I think it was a big, big blow for a lot of people having Phillips out. Um, v, I don't think will do anything, as I think he only scored low double digits, as well as Laurie in the practice game, so those two aren't that important. And then Sardis being out has dropped him. Stewart could, uh, or Sturt could go up with him being at 11%. And then Sinekoda out, didn't help. Heath is injured for a while. Chandler's playing, but I don't think he'll do anything dramatic. Roberts is an emergency, so that's why I dropped him, as he probably won't... If anything, he'll just get a sub, and one quarter sub you'd... Um, to get for him to hit 200, that's a price of, like, 20... What, 7, 26? He'd have to be going at a 100 um, average for the whole game just to get his break even, considering that um, most subs will probably be used at three-quarter time or so, or into the fourth. So, and could go Bergman, but I went with these other guys, and I wanted Utility to have a um, multiples position split. And then Josh Sin not playing sort of helps out that decision making, but he'll come in, I think, um, early on in the season, meaning that these 280k guys that will go up will be the first guys to drop for um, Sin and stuff like that when he um, comes back in. Sheldrick got close, Humphrey got close again, so another couple guys. And then Wardlaw injured, um, when he comes in he should do well. And then Tunstall was initially in my squad last night, but some changes have allowed me to get Philippi back off Phil, which I think will be huge as... He could go huge against, who was at Frio, but I think we're waiting for this game against... I might play him against Essendon even against the Suns, and then play him in these back-to-back, -back, these couple fixtures from 8 to 11, and then get him out in this buy, because that's when I think he'll be full price if he hasn't already been dropped by then. So those are, I guess, the major, major rookie um, changes and how that happened on Thursday night with the teams um, getting released and how that's, I guess, impacted my team. And I guess um, with Cowan and Holland not scoring the best, I've probably sacrificed, I probably made a mistake of like 20 or 30 points potentially. But maybe Philip who goes and scores 60 and Chesser scores like 55 or something like that. I probably should have put Chesser on ground, but nothing I can do about it now. So that's maybe 30, 40, 50 points there. But that's not the end of the world if I'm going to get more value that I think especially with Whitfield being after round six he should get dual position and that can chuck him down back and that will get me four guys already down back and it's probably easier to fix the midfield up than to fix the back line up with what's going on and yeah that's I guess the team that I have at the moment and what will probably run until the end of that will probably be my team or close enough to the team so not major major changes I guess but slight little tweaks so that's the video there and I'll come I'll have other videos up with um other guys like and how they will probably fare with I'll probably do like a tagging video or something like that released later today but um that's this video done and I'll see you guys in another video thanks guys goodbye